All right, what's up with y'all? So I'm back with the second part of this highly requested series, Survive and Get a Five. So I'm actually gonna start splitting this series into two different sections. Now the first section is gonna cover how to survive your class and get a, uh, get a good grade in the class. And the second part is gonna cover how to get a five on your AP test. Now I'll be releasing that second part of the series down in March when you guys actually begin studying for those tests. But for now, let's dive into how to survive your AP environmental science class. So let's get to it. Now, the first tip I have for you guys is to watch Jordan DeShinger's lesson videos for every single unit right before your unit test. Now, if you've taken AP classes before, you know that there is a commonality between most of them in that there's always pretty much a guru who's extremely good at it. Um, so if you've taken HCAP, you know that's Mr. Sin. If you've taken WAP, you know it's uh, Heimler. And so for this class, Jordan DeShinger, I'm sorry for I'm butchering, his, butchering his name, but Jordan DeShinger's material is very good. It is a very condensed resource. So if you ever don't have much time, if you ever procrastinated and you're studying at the last second, definitely watch his material and it will give you a good in-depth understanding in very short amount of time. That is definitely the first thing you wanna do if you ever find yourself in a situation where you don't have much time. You wanna start by reviewing that material before you do anything else. Now, my second tip for y'all is to memorize the vocabulary. I know how generic this sounds, but APES is a vocabulary-based course. Courses like Calculus BC and things like that, Physics C, they're not so much about the rote memorization, but about applying it. But APES is truly just about memorizing the vocabulary. You're gonna apply it a little bit, but for the most part, it's about memorizing it. And so I'll link some quizzes down below that I've used to study. So what I recommend is after you go over Jordan Shinger's YouTube content, you really want to solidify your understanding by going over the vocabulary. That'll definitely help you get an additional three to four MCQs right um, on your tests. Now, my third tip for you guys is perhaps a little bit controversial, and that is to don't waste your time with the textbooks that your teachers give you, please. They are overly complicated. Apes content isn't that difficult compared to other AP classes. It really isn't. And so what I recommend to you is if you've gone over the content that your teachers provided you, the notes, the lessons, whatever, and you've gone over vocabulary and Jordan DeShinger's YouTube content, you've pretty much learned the apes content that you need to succeed in the unit. You just need to apply it in the actual scenarios that you're going to be given to on the test. And so what I recommend doing with your time instead of reading the textbook is to simply practice FRQ and MCQ questions. Now, this is you know, you're probably wondering where can I get find these resources? They're really all over Google. I mean, you can just search up, you know, apes, you know, one FRQ. You'll even get some from college where that have been used on previous exams. And those are all great resources. I'd especially make sure you spend time on the FRQs because especially if you're new to AP classes, it's kind of difficult to get used to the timing on these FRQs. Apes FRQs typically have 10 different questions on them, 10 different parts. And if you've taken any other class, you know that's a lot a lot of lot of questions to answer within that time frame and so you really want to make sure you apply that knowledge there trust me you have the knowledge just apply it now my fourth tip is going out to you guys that have especially taken the initiative to actually study for the test for more than one day if you've actually taken the time to do go over the resources that i've said in the previous tips of this video you'll have some little little bit of leftover time and if you really want to solidify your understanding and improve your score by about another five to 10 points, I highly recommend you go over the AP live review sessions for every single unit's test um, from 2021. So if you go to Google and you search up AP live session 2021 apes, there's going to be a video for every single unit of apes. So for example, if you're on unit one, highly recommend watch that video. It will solidify your understanding. Now, I do have a little bit of a bonus tip for you guys that stuck around till the end of this video. Um, and that is that there's a lot of these, I don't really know who created them, but there's these PDFs. They all have the same format, but they are very useful for AIDS. I will link one of them down below and you know just use them. I mean, it is so condensed. And that's the thing about apes, I've said it multiple times, but the content isn't difficult. It really isn't. And so having a simplified version really helps you save a lot of time. So I'll link that down below. Make sure you check it out. All right, y'all, I appreciate y'all sticking around till the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, so be sure to get the like button and subscribe button to stay tuned for future videos and especially the rest of my Survive and Get a 5 series for AP classes. See you in the next one.